Brown University freshman Olivia Pichardo made history recently, becoming the first female athlete in NCAA Division I history to make a varsity baseball roster. According to Baseball for All, there have only been 20 women on collegiate baseball teams, but none at the D1 level. Pichardo, who was not recruited to Brown as an athlete, tried out for the team and made it with the team's head coach calling her a standout and, quote, the most complete walk-on tryout he has ever seen. Joining me now is the Olivia Pichardo. Welcome to the show. So nice to meet you. Hi, thank you for having me. Of course. So I just mentioned that you were a walk-on trying to get a spot on the baseball team roster. What were your expectations when you went to the tryouts and then the practices? Did you think you had a shot? Yeah, I mean, um, ever since I knew that I was coming to Brown, I um, was just giving myself positive reinforcements, um, just saying that I'm going to make the team and um, just not having any doubt in my mind. What was it like the moment you heard that you made the team? Uh, it was pretty surreal. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, my face didn't show it that much in the video, um, but that's just my demeanor. It's just how I am. Uh, but yeah, it's, it was nice to know that um, all the hard work that I put in really paid off. Yeah, so let's go back a bit. You've been playing baseball since you were a young child, five years old. When did it occur to you, there, there, we have a picture of you up, adorable. When did you realize that it was unusual, uh, that very few girls were competing in baseball when uh, a, a lot of the other girls were playing softball? When did you realize that difference? Uh, well, when I was little, I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't really see uh, I guess I didn't see gender or whatever, um, but it started to actually settle in much later when I was uh, 14, um, when, you know, kids start uh, like talking more in school mm -hmm. and, um, you know, just getting a little bit meaner. But uh, yeah, I would say around 14 years old is when it started to hit me that what I'm doing is really um, out of the ordinary. Yeah, and even those negative comments didn't stop you. None of it discouraged you from, from playing baseball, right? Uh, what's it been like being on the team? How have your, your teammates treated you? Yeah, everyone has been super welcoming and um, a, a lot of them reached out to me after uh, the news broke just mm -hmm. telling me that they're in my corner and um, they have my support, um, you know, through all of the um, online skeptics that there might be. So, uh, yeah, they treat me just like how they would each other. That's really good to hear. Your college baseball season starts in February. What do you think will be the biggest challenge ahead, not only as a student athlete in your first year, but as someone who will have a lot of the focus on your performance on that team? Um, the biggest challenge, I would say, would just to stay within myself and um, to try not to let the moment get too big and, um, you know, just try to get into a good mindset in whatever I'm doing in that game. You're truly an inspiration. Despite the naysayers, you stuck with it and you're living out your dream, and I, I applaud that. I mean, that's huge. What is your message <laughs> to other women and girls who want to participate in sports that are traditionally reserved for boys like baseball? Uh, I would say to just keep playing the sport that you love and to not let anyone else affect that decision. Whether you start and stop playing that sport should be solely on your own terms and um, not because anyone told you otherwise. Good advice. Olivia Pichardo, thank you so much for joining us and for taking some time out of your busy school life. We'll let you get back to it and good luck with finals coming up. Thank you so much.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.